Hello everybody. Let's go over what has happened here in Iceland since the last upload. We are still having earthquakes around the same area that is southwest of Kalis. Over 4000 earthquakes have been detected since the 27th of September. A day after the last upload, an earthquake of 4.2 in magnitude hit, and that is the largest in the ongoing series. The last earthquake over 3 in size struck on October 5th at around 4 pm. The Faraldasfjall eruption has now been sleeping for over 2 weeks, but we still can't know for sure if it's over just yet. The last 48 hours have been quiet compared to the previous days, and only one earthquake over 3 has been detected which means something is going on. The new satellite images have arrived, so let's review them in the data and details section. As we know, earthquakes have been bombarding this area since the 27th of September, and have made scientists scratch their heads. We got satellite images just after the series started, but after not detecting any signs of magma, it was decided to wait for another week, and take images of the area again, since the magma could have just been too deep underground for the satellites to detect it. Well, the new images came in, and the story doesn't change much. There are no signs of magma under Kaelid area, which means that there is no magma there after all, right? Wrong. The scientists are not ready yet to say that there is no magma under Kaelid and since most of the earthquakes are still originating from 5 kilometers or deeper underground, it could mean the magma is still too deep underground for the satellites to detect it. The newest measurements of the Geltigadal eruption show that the lava flow has hit 0 cubic meters per second, for the first time. But as stated earlier, the eruption has not been called off yet, and there are some signs pointing towards the return of the Geltigadal eruption. Let's speculate a bit. As we've seen in the recent satellite images, there have not been any deformation due to the magma pushing through the surface under Kalis. There are a few possible explanations for this. Either the magma is too deep underground, and too little of it has accumulated for it to be detectable, and is just yet to make its move. This could also not be related to magma, and just a pressure release in the area after the eruption stopped in the Geltigadalit eruption. There is also the possibility that this is another the calm before the storm situation, like we saw back in March, since there is a certain decrease in the earthquakes in the area. But instead of breaking through the surface in a new area, it would break through Geltigadalir again, since the spot it thought looked good was just not worth it. This could also be the calm before a large earthquake over 5 in size. This is the perfect time to just sit and wait. So, the next couple of days are gonna be exciting. There is a lot to look out for, and if you don't want to miss the results, you could subscribe, since it will help you find my channel. And if you want to share the video, you could like it, since that tells YouTube it's worth a watch. Hope to see most of you in the next video. Thanks for watching.